Tonight, Damien, thank you. Tonight, we continue with our coverage on the current health crisis occasioned by the health workers' strike now on its third day. The government appears to be dilly darling on taking decisive action to end the health workers' strike. The affected are, among other things, demanding the supply of personal protective equipment, some of which are wasting away in Kemsa's warehouses because of bureaucracy. But before going to that story, let's look at events at the Senate today where senators have resolved to hear the impeachment motion against besieged Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvisonko through the plenary. The Senate will sit on the 17th and 18th of this month to determine the fate of Sonko who was impeached by Nairobi County Assembly. Our reporter Murimi Mwangi reports on the intrigues preceding this technicality and explains why a stormy Senate sitting looms large when the matter comes up for debate next week. Impeached by 88 of all the 122 members of the Nairobi City County Assembly, City Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko's next line of defense was the Senate. <laughs> And on Wednesday afternoon, Senate Speaker Kenneth Lusaka reread the charges facing the besieged governor. The governor has abused his office by violating Article 75 of the Constitution as read together with Section 2 and 13 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012 on the conduct of state officers, where the governor has persistently intimidated, harassed, molested officers of the county executive, including blackmailing his county executive committee, Members and chief officers. Procedurally, the Senate can try an impeached governor either before an 11 member select committee or in a full plenary made up of all the 67 senators. In Sonko's case, the House Business Committee here on Tuesday approved an 11 member list comprising six from the majority and five from the minority side. What's your point of order? But the House was in for a root shock when Senate Majority Leader Samuel Pogishu who was to table the 11 member list withdrew it in the last minute. The majority leader, having withdrawn or otherwise abandoned the notice of motion, and therefore the motion, the root of committee, is therefore abandoned, and that now, and all the other members, and that now means that the Senate will investigate this matter in plenary. Pogisio's surprise move, insiders say, could have been a preemptive tactical retreat to forestall what was to be a charged afternoon sitting from Sonko's allies in the Senate, who were ganging up to shoot down the committee route. Senate Business Committee agreed on provisional dates for this investigation in the event that the matter was to be investigated in plenary. I therefore wish to inform you that I will be gazetting Thursday, 17th December 2020 and Friday, 18th December 2020 as the dates on which the Senate shall undertake the investigations of this matter in plenary. Sonko follows the route of former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu, who was also tried at plenary. Sonko is therefore expected to defend himself either in person or through a lawyer. Should 24 of the 47 county delegations uphold any of Sonko's impeachment grounds, then the flamboyant governor will follow in Waititu's footsteps. Only that in Sonko's case, Nairobi Speaker Benson Mutura would take up the city governorship for 60 days pending a by-election as Sonko has been without a deputy since Poli Kapigada's resignation in 2018. Right. Muremi News. So it once again appears that even as doctors, clinical officers,